everybody. This is Miss Emily. I'm Jean Margaret. I'm Van. I'm A. And we are the Lackey family. Um, we usually do the craft at Bible school and we're so, so sad that we can't be together in person today. But we're going to do the best we can to walk you through a little craft. And hopefully it's something you can do. The only things you're going to need are your little buckets that will be delivered to you that you should have this little art bag. Um, it's got like a little twist tie around it, so you're going to need to pull that out of your bucket. Then you're going to need some scissors and some markers and maybe some good music if you want to put some music on. Right there. Um, or just have your video on and I wish we could all be together, but today we're going to do the best we can just to um, have some fun. So, um, first of all, I would like to open in prayer. So, Van has um, nicely written us a prayer. So, if you don't mind bowing your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us life and color. Be with us, especially now, because, especially since we cannot be together for VBS this year. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Van. Um, so this is going to be a very colorful craft. This is what we're going to be making today. A little, um, I'll see if I can't get closer. Can you see it's a little turtle and it's a magnet mm -hmm. on the back there. And you can, so, just, you yeah, can you put, put it in your refrigerator and you can put all sorts of designs on it. Smiley face. Yep. So if you don't mind going ahead and open up your bag. Just untwist the little twist tie. Oh my <laughs> this is so nice. I'll give it on. Let me know. I don't think it's good. That's okay. Just pull the thing. Just pull it. So I just flip it over? No, don't flip it. Well, that's fine. Um, first of all, I want you to look for this bracelet. This is a little blue bracelet that we put here. It says God is faithful. It says God is faithful. So if you want to go ahead and put that on your wrist before you get going, that's kind of a nice reminder for the summer. And you can wear that in the pool. It's um, waterproof. It is waterproof. And then I want you to, Abe's already getting us started on our first step. Can I show this real quick? Pull out your little turtle. It's just this little green foam paper. And, then it's like and it's got a turtle traced on it. And if any of your sheets happen to have this little um, tag on the back, you can just peel that off so that it doesn't mess up your design. But go ahead and start cutting out the outline of your turtle. It might be a little hard, so you can ask a parent to help. That's true. So just take your time. Van, can you help us while you're cutting? Where are some neat places you can put magnets? On the refrigerator, any place that is magnetic, you can just put on. That's right. Mainly the refrigerator. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. But maybe if some of your parents have like a big dry erase board or a magnetic board. Um, you, and it clipped onto the refrigerator. And it clips on. on. Have yes. you ever heard of a sticker board? So you can put like all sorts of magnets and stickers on it. Or, or, you, or, um, or you could um, clip it onto like a, like a little thing I have in my room. Bulletin board? Yeah. Maybe That's what I was just about to say, that um, this foam paper, you could actually probably just stick it in a little bulletin board if you don't have a place that's magnetic. Or you could put it on the back of the car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you could try. It would probably it fall off, though. You might fall off. Or you could put blue dots. Do you want me to finish cutting your thing? You have to put magnets all over the back to make it. Yeah, and if you still have traced lines on it, you can flip it over and use it oh. the other way. Cause um, if you um do it this way and there's still like trace marks, you can turn it around and there's no trace marks. This right. is what she means. So see how there's pencil marks still on it? Flip it around. There's none. Right. Okay. So Abe's still cutting, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through um. The next step is to find this little piece of paper with three glue dots on it and your seashell. And then you glue And so on your glue dots, this is called a scallop shell. And Miss Carrie and Miss Susan are going to talk a little bit more about the significance of a scallop shell. Um, but with your glue dots, you're going to put one at the top of your shell 
and then two on either side of the bottom, and then stick it onto your turtle. I mean, I've never used glue dots in my life. The glue dots are pretty sticky, which is it's kind of hard with your fingers, but that means it'll stay on. So it's kind of it's a little bit easier than glue. If you do, if you can't get your glue dots to work, you can definitely try glue. Yeah. I have purple glue in my bucket right there. You do, yeah. My glue dots. So two on the top. So you can kind of do it however, but I think, see on the bottom, how the bottom of the scallop shell has this, um, either side has like a place you can put it. Yeah, put it on the bottom, on either side. It's a little bit hard if you mess up when you need to. And then one on the top. And if you, if you need, if you forget what to do, you're, feel free to wind the video back for the instructions. Okay, so Jeannie, did you get all three of your dots on? Yep. Do you want to walk yours up to the... Um... This is what your turtle should look like. It can be in any other design, but this is how mine looks like. Yeah, these blue dots work. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if they don't stick on, you can use any other thing. That glues. already moving on to the next step which is to find your little magnet in your bag it and looks like this looks like this course. and you just pull the back it's got this little paper on the back of it and then it's um, very sticky on the other side so then um that's on the, back, the sticky part on the back you put um the sticky part where it's like sticky right there you put it on um, on the back and then it's basically you can so it the shell's right the here shell turn it over there's the magnet and we'll do an example of it sticking on a um okay so once you get your magnet on um something i always like to do when i'm doing our craft normally is to always make sure we have at least one craft where we can write can you hold that up to the camera it says VBS 2020, and then I put WUMC on the bottom just to remind everybody that this was from Rice School United Methodist, and just a good reminder of our time together. And um, even if it's on a video, and if you don't, if you can't, if you don't know how to write it, and it's a little too hard, you can always ask a Yep. Okay, so we're almost done. So once you have VBS 2020 written, Jeannie, do you need a marker? Yeah, I need a marker. It's the fun part. You just get to decorate it. You so, can decorate it any way you want. You don't have to do it just the designs of what this is. You can do it any way. That's exactly right. So you could give it a little face and some polka dots, or um, you can even use paints. If your mommy and daddy have any kind of watercolor or acrylic paints, just be sure you get them to help you put some newspaper down, or um, maybe a garbage bag on a table on a flat surface. I know that sounds weird, but it really works. It does work. So that way you can decorate with paint, um, but markers work also. So if that's a little easier and you have those around, you can do markers. And then you can also put your name or the first letter of your name, because sometimes if you forget, you can also just put it. I mean, you can't do green on it basically Okay, so once y'all get a little bit of your um, decorations on, can you go walk it up so everybody can see how you've decorated yours? Mm -hmm. WUMC, right? Mm -hmm. Right, School United Methodist Church. I'm just decorate Abram, you know you can color the, um, you can color the, um, I don't know. So this know. is an example of what it could look like. The back is supposed to look like this. VBS 2020. It may be backwards, but here's and and write W U M C. I'm gonna repeat that. W U M C. That's that stands for Wrightsville United Methodist Church. Yep. And if you want to, you can do like a little face, or you could just like color the shell, or you can add other details like um like pants or like shorts. <laughs>
Vacation Bible School friends. We're the Salem family. I am Miss Susan. This is Avery Amy. and this is Josh. So. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about sea turtles today. Um, you just watched a video about how to make your Vacation Bible School sea turtle craft and we hope you enjoy making it. You'll notice that there's a scallop shell to decorate as part of your sea turtle. The scallop shell is a symbol of baptism. Um, a lot of times the seashell can be used as the cup to pour the water over during baptism. Um, a lot of us were baptized when we were little, so we don't remember it. But when you're baptized, all of your sins are washed away, and we know that we will have eternal life with Jesus, and that's pretty awesome. So we hope you have fun making your craft and decorating your shell and your turtle. Um, so. If you've ever been to the Fort Fisher Aquarium, you've probably seen the big loggerhead turtle that they have. Um, we're pretty lucky that we get to live near the beach and um, see the turtles in person. Um, Josh has a turtle that he wants to share with you. You can hold it up a little bit closer. It's a little turtle. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, Josh, is there anything that you want to share that you like about sea turtles? I like that they're green, and I like, um, I like, sometimes I like how their shell looks. I like the color of their shell. Very cool. And then Avery has something she wants to show you, too. It's a tiny oh, toy. It swims in the water. So you put him in water, and he swims in the pool or the bathtub. Pretty cool. He does it for a while. Um, <laughs> so, Avery, is there anything that you want to share that you like about sea turtles? I like their flippers because they're so cute. They are. Very cool. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, since we live near the beach, it is pretty important for us to do our part to help protect the turtles. Um, there are lots of things we can do to protect them. Um, is there anything you guys can think about that we can do? Um, keep trash away. Keep trash away. Yes. That yes. is, that's right. It's really important not to um, throw trash in any place but a trash can because things like plastic bags can um, end up in the ocean and sea turtles think that they're jellyfish and um, will eat it and that's not good. So we definitely don't want to pollute the ocean. Um, something else that we can do is um, sea turtles lay their eggs on the beach and make their nests and we don't want to touch those because it's important to leave them and let them grow. When they hatch, they make their way to the water and we want to leave that alone so they can do that. And I don't know if anybody has ever seen that um, happen, the hatching. We have not, but we hope to see it sometime. Um, but we, it's important to um, just let nature take its course and not touch. Um, volunteers do a, a good job of trying to rope them off and, and let us know where they are. So just paying attention to that is important. Um, we also don't want to throw away nets and fishing lines and things. Like if we're on the boat, we don't want to throw that into the water because it can get caught on the turtles. And then the last thing is just leaving the beach like you found it. Um, we all love uh, building sand castles and digging holes, but that can um, help or hurt the turtles, prevent them from getting to the water and moving around. So um, we just need to make sure we leave the beach just like we found it. Um, we hope you have enjoyed our um, little sea turtle talk 
and um, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Catherine, and this is my brother Cooper. We're here to tell you about the bracelets you find in your bag. They say God is faithful. It's to tell you to always remember that you can have trust in God and He sends you love every day. The scripture for this week is, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His, he is faithful love endures forever. Cooper will end with the prayer. God, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for you, for all you give our church family, the lives we live, and to our loved ones far away. Please send your blessings, Lord, we pray. And help us uh, to live our days with thankful hearts and loving ways. Amen. Bye. Hope to see you at church.